Hi, I'm Danny. Welcome to my channel. This upcycle is all about small changes that can result in a huge transformation. So if you love upcycle videos and content, then please subscribe and hit the notification so you know when I release new episodes. If you have any video requests, just leave those in the comments below. So let's get started with this upcycle. As you can see, this suit was very much like an old church suit. I think that's the best way to describe it, but I wanted to use a little bit of 90s inspiration for it. I love the mini suits of the 90s. The first step I had to do was take in both sides of the skirt. So I'm just using a seam ripper to do that very carefully. And I only opened up the outer part of the skirt. I didn't bother touching the inside lining. Now I'm separating the lining from the outside. Then I tried on the skirt and I took a measurement. So about seven inches from the waist, I wanted to take in the most amount of fabric. And really it wasn't even that much. So I measured this part and I wanted to take out about three fourths of an inch on both sides. So I just marked that to pin it. That was the line that I wanted to sew to, so I used that as my mark. Then I just went over to my sewing machine and I started at the waistband. As you can see, I'm sewing towards that pin. And then I decided to just basically keep sewing a straight line down the skirt. Now I did not have to sew all the way down the skirt because I am going to be cropping this style, so that was unnecessary. Now that that's done, I pinned the sides of the skirt where I wanted to cut it, and then I didn't have a straight edge, so I just used this bag as a marker. And then now I'm going to cut about one inch below that line, and this doesn't have to be precise because I tried on the skirt again, and then I pinned it to correct anything. Now, I really like to iron down the inside seams of the skirt. This is gonna make everything lie flat, and it's just gonna have a more tailored look to it. After doing this, I went ahead and I pinned the hem, and you can see it's kind of bumpy. So in order to correct that, I always like to go back over this hem with an iron to smooth it out, make sure we get a nice clean line. Once I'm happy with that line, then I finally take it to the sewing machine. If you're watching on a mobile device and you like this episode, please screenshot it, post it to an Instagram story, then tag and hashtag me at Danny Walker, especially if you try out this upcycle or are inspired by it. I'd love to see what you create too. And while you're on Instagram, don't forget to follow. I always like to sew the outside of the hem first, and then I just use that as my guide for how much I need to take up the lining. So once again, I'm ironing down this hem. It just makes things a lot easier. I think it makes it look cleaner. And then I go back to the sewing machine, and just so I don't have any fraying edges, because this type of lining really frays, I sewed it around once, and then I folded it over, and now you're seeing the folded part, and then I went back over it, and I sewed it again just so that this hem is never going to fall. That's the last step for this upcycle. The only other thing that I did was swap out the button, which I usually do for my upcycles. I think it really elevates the look. Then all I had to do was put it on and style it. I love a scrunched sleeve, so I decided to wear it like that. I'll also mention that the top that you're seeing actually came with this suit, which I loved, and it matches the little horizontal stripes on the blazer, which I think is so fabulous. I was able to thrift this piece, and I'm thrilled because the color is so amazing, and I just feel like a boss babe. I feel like I'm ready for work and just ready to create tons more content for y'all. So I loved it. I hope that you enjoyed this enough to subscribe and hit the notifications and I hope you're going to come back to join me for lots more upcycles in the future.